Hello guys, this is Artistic Pink Cat, um, or I'm also known as Grizzled Dog on DeviantArt, so this is also Grizzled Dog. I'm here to tell you about my tail. It's not, to me, the tail looks a little bit out of proportion with the head. My head's big and thick, and the tail looks too streamlined and not thick enough or fluffy enough to go along to be considered a bush baby tail. And I'm already being called a mule, a kangaroo, and I'm not, I'm a bush baby, and it's... I went about making the mask weird, so I don't want any more uh, <laughs> deceptions, not more than I already have or need. But the tail just isn't quite doing what I thought it would. It, it gets the job done for what I wanted to try. I wanted it to curl at the last minute so it didn't touch the ground to get soot in it. At Renaissance Festival, there's dirt, sir, there's dirt soot, um, dirt soot, excuse me, dirt soot and, and uh, uh, gravel and I didn't want that tail to be dragging in that and getting all filthy but uh, bush babies have a wide circumference at the base of their tail and as it progresses it turn it's like a long cone shape it turn it goes into a slender pointed tip well I didn't quite do that with this tail so I need a wider base um, a wider base and a longer tail and then a, a skinny streamlined tip but since my fur is so short, the fur I bought is so short, I can't really achieve that fluffy look without stuffing it till it's bloated with polyfiber fill. It just looks kind of crappy almost. Um, if you think the tail is fine, uh, let me know, and I might just leave it that way and mess with it later. I just want... I, it just doesn't quite look like it goes in proportion with the head because the head's thick and the tail isn't. Um, any advice in the comments would be appreciated. Or should I use a different kind of fur that's even longer haired than this fur? I, I don't know, but put it in the comments and I'll get back to you on that. Uh, thanks for watching and Jesus is Lord. Bye-bye.